BigN is JavaScript's latest numeric primitive data type that safely represents numerical values larger than numbers max safe integer or 2 to the 53rd. It's pretty big. What's up, I'm Ijema, and in this video, I'm going to help you get a deeper understanding of JavaScript by diving into BigInt, understanding why it was created through a couple of examples, and learn how it can help you with your web dev projects. BigInt was introduced into JavaScript earlier this year to address a problem exposed by the number data type. Any number that is larger than 2 to the 53rd can lose precision, which can lead to major problems in applications. Try printing out the following number inside your console. You'll see the number get rounded up to the next number. Another weird blip is if you check max safe integer plus one with max safe integer plus two, they turn out to be equal to one another, which makes no sense. Imagine if you're building out a web app for a bank and you had to track the total dollar amount across the entire application or even perform large scale calculations. Loss in precision could lead to people and businesses losing money. Numbers would fumble these cases, but Big Int could handle them no problem. So let's see how they work. You can use the Big Int function and pass in a whole number to create a new Big Int instance. So here I use the function Big Int, pass in the number 10. Big Ints are denoted with an N appended to the number. You can also create a big int by typing out numerical value and appending the letter n. Passing in numerical values into the function also means that you can pass in different data types that can be coerced into numbers. If we pass in the string value of 10, we'll get a big int of 10. If we passed in true, we'll get big int of 1. And if we pass in false, we can get big int of 0. But this only works for whole numbers. You'll get a range error if you pass in a decimal and a type error if you pass in a data type that can't be converted into a number. Big ints are like numbers such that they can hold numerical values, but ultimately different because they aren't the same data types. I'll show you what I mean. If you compare big int and a number using triple equals, triple equals checks both the value and the data type. So in this case, big int and number have the same value, but are different data types. You could use the double equal sign if you only wanted to check the value, but this is bad practice and you should never do it. Consider the case you create a big int from numbers max safe integer plus one, and then you use the double equals to check to see if it's the same value of max safe integer plus two. It's gonna return a true value even though these two values are not equal to one another. You're also unable to mix operations between the two. This helps avoid any hidden coercion of data types. Let's say you tried to add a big int with the value 10 and the number 2.5. What data type should you get? It's not entirely clear, and this uncertainty can lead to failures in your program. And lastly, big ints don't handle decimals. So here I divide the two big ints, one and two. Rounded ends up being equal to zero instead of the expected 0.5 when using numbers. A real use case for big int would be Twitter's ID service called Snowflake. This service generates unique IDs based on time instead of the common sequential order approach that most ID creation services use. These IDs are composed of timestamps, a random worker number, and a number from a tracked sequence, and they get represented as a number in JSON objects. But since JavaScript couldn't handle these numbers without losing precision when this service was first created, Snowflake also includes a string representation of that number ID inside the same object. But now with the introduction of big int, there's no longer a need for that string, or at least when you're using this service in certain browsers. With any new feature in JavaScript, it's important to check browser support. And as of right now, Safari and Internet Explorer are the only two desktop browsers that don't support big int. As your project grows in size and complexity by dealing with large amounts of data, big ints serve to ensure that large numbers are handled safely without losing precision. And that's another video on primitive data types. Thanks for watching the video. You can check out my last primitive data type videos, which covers symbols. They're a great way to create unique tokens in any of your projects. Like the video if you learned something new and subscribe to the channel for more JavaScript and web dev content. With that, I'll see y'all later.